Okay, so not that late to the party this time. Hi friends, I hope you're all having an amazing day. Anyway, I received in the mail today my Ipsy Glam Bag, yay. Yay, because I am seriously not that late. But it looks like possibly somebody got into it. I hope this, actually my other bag, my December bag, like I just showed you last week, had come so late that when I contacted, I, I contacted them before I got the bag, but I contacted them and they were gonna send me another one. So hopefully this isn't the replacement. And this is my January bag, I really hope so. But you went, let's just get into this unbagging. So I can't remember anymore if I did any add-ons with this one at all. I hope that this is just, no, do you know what? I don't think it's been tampered with like I thought because it's stuck like glue. And I know from past experience, if I pop a bag open, it doesn't stick shut again. So no, they just slapped it together. So maybe it is my replacement December bag. I really hope not, but I guess we'll see. I may have to change the title of this. Um, there's something on the side here. Here is a, it looks like a blender brush. I really wanted to try to get away with not using my glasses. So give me a second, I'm gonna get my glasses, see if I can read this and not be such adult all the time. Okay, so what this says is Firma 403 and it looks to be a semi-tapered blending brush. Really soft, I'm not, do you know what though? I think I would have remembered if I ordered this as my choice item. So when we get to the card part of this, I'll see if this was like just something they put in my bag or what this was. Cause I really don't recall um, asking for another blending brush. I do sometimes, I love brushes, but lately if any brushes pop up, I'd rather them be like um, um, powder brushes or something bigger or foundation brushes. I've got more than enough blending brushes ready, so I'm gonna assume this is actually part of my bag that they didn't put in the bag. Like their choice, not my choice. So let's see, is it January's bag? Yes, thank you. I was not wanting to do a replay of the December bag. So anyway, let's get the card out first. This is, oh, first let's look at the bag a little bit. So. Everybody's got their own views on what this looks like. Of course, you're seeing everything in my bag now. What this looks like. It says dream all over the bag. It's got this little plastic um, zip. Some people say it's got a 90s vibe. I think just because this little um, circle thing, whatever ring thing for the zipper has like that jelly look to it. To me, that says 80s. But do you know what? It doesn't matter. It's a cute bag. It is a cute bag. They're always cute bags, most of the time. Sometimes when they look too like old ladyish, and I'm not like a young lady, but if they look too old ladyish, I'm not even like, I'm like, that's ugly. And I do not like it. So yes, the theme is Dream It. And I do believe I'm gonna actually have to put my glasses on, except, oh, it's got beauty resolutions for your sign. So, glasses are coming on because I'm a very um, naturistic, metaphysical, eclectic person and I do want to read my horoscope. Embrace your uniqueness and let those quirks be cute. <laughs> oh, I, I heard from a friend not too long ago or a co-worker that she had spoke to somebody that knows me, that deals with me out in the public, you know, at my shop that I bring my car to that I am um, something else. That's what they said, I'm something else. I think that's what they said. And I was like, yes, yes I am. Anyway, it doesn't tell me anything about what's in this bag. It says nothing. So everything is a mystery and a surprise and that's too bad because shoot, right? So the first thing I'm pulling out is Drama Bomb. Actually, I think I picked out a mascara. Is this a mascara I picked out? Drama Bomb Extreme Volume Nourishing Mascara. So this might actually have been my choice item. I haven't had too many options to get mascaras from um, this bag at least. I've gotten them from other bags. Or No, I haven't. I haven't gotten a mascara in forever. I've been buying mascara. What the heck? That's not... Do you know what? I know I don't like to rip packaging, but 
I have nothing close by to pop this with, so I'm tearing into this like nobody's business. I want to see it. I want to see it. So this is probably a deluxe sample size because it's fairly big. I've had sample sizes and they're definitely smaller than this. So here's the packaging, Drama Bomb. And the maker is Uma, Uoma. And let's just see what kind of spoolie we got on this baby. Holy smokes. <laughs> okay, so that's a big one. And it looks like a, quite a thick formula. It's probably for, I think it did say volumizing and extreme volume. So, holy smokes. Do you know what? I think I've mentioned this before. Some um, people that do reviews, they say they really like the smell of mascara and I could not understand them. Like it doesn't really have like any kind of strong scent to it. This actually smells kind of kind of like an incense. If I get that any closer to my nose, I'm going to blackball my nose. I was just noticing something though when my glasses were on the packaging on this sample at least sucks. It's just a sticker on there and I actually pushed down the corners because they were lifting. But whatever, I'm going to try this. I'm going to love this, probably, hopefully, because like everybody else in the world, well, not everybody else in the world, but this is a hack that I never knew about until I started watching other people's reviews on makeup products is that if you use more than one mascara, you are more likely to um, get the effect you want. If you just use one, it's going to give you what it wants to give you. And sometimes if you use that one, use another one and go back with that one, you get the effect you want. So it's just like, it's like layering. It's like just adding more to the whatever. So here we got Thirst No More Moisturizer by Formula 1010. Why is my glasses not on? Formula 10.0.6. Fruit Complex and White Tea. Nice. I do like skincare. I'm at that age where skincare is definitely needed, wanted, and used a lot. Ooh, it's got a safety seal. Perfect. Perfect today. The other day when I was doing my videos, I was like, oh no, it's got a safety seal. <laughs> Don't waste my time, safety seal. Except when I can't get it open. I said I didn't have something to pop things open, but I've got my little, this is really cute. I got this at the campground last year and I'm sure people have seen these all over, but it's got a bear on there. So anyway, when I was doing stuff in my room, I came across it. So I was like, yay, found my, found my bear knife and I will put it to good use, but I know it's like super sharp. So I got to be really careful. This isn't some like box cutter size thing. I can't really get that top off, but I'm just going to pop it open like that. Yeah, why don't I show you what I'm doing? I'm putting a little bit on my hands. Didn't it say something about being fruity? It definitely doesn't have a fruit smell. It really doesn't have any kind of smell at all. It smells like not fruity fruit off oh, fruit complex and white tea so maybe it's got more of the white tea scent but let's see oh that little bit goes a long way holy smokes okay that's perfect and it's going on smooth and it is soaking in nicely so we'll just see how my hands feel in a few minutes or by the end of this video see if they're still so, like silky smooth or if they've you know some things are so water-based that they just don't do anything really for a very long time did I just take my glasses off again? Yes, I did. Okay, so I pulled this one out of the bag and it's open. And this is kombucha. Oh, I gotta put my glasses back on. Oh my gosh. Kombucha plus 11% AHA exfoliation power toner. Yay. Youth to the people is the brand. So that's what we got. And I closed it up, even though it was popped open. I love this box. You can tell that it's totally a recyclable box. It's like, it's just got that feel. I mean, all cord cardboard is, but... So it's a little bottle. I don't know if I... So it's just a little bottle of toner. 
uh, kind of an amber colored liquid in there. I've never used toner before, but I'm excited to start because apparently it does miracles for your skin. It doesn't smell bad. I was just trying to catch the scent. It's not a very strong smelling product. So we have got that. These are like really good sample sizes today. And we've got one more little thing in here. What is this? What is this? Time pressed lip balm, botanical boost lip balm. Ooh, and who makes it? Complex culture. Cutest little packaging ever. Here it shows the name of it and it's probably sealed. Yeah, sealed. So I'm just going to try to find that seam and cut the seal instead of tear it off for now with my handy dandy super sharp knife that I'm going to end up slicing my hand with. It's really hard to see exactly where that seam is because it's gray on gray it's not my eyes this time well maybe it's my eyes a little bit so what do i have on my lips right now let's say nothing nothing's on my lips hmm feels very Lip glossy-ish. So what was that again? Is it some? Is it just a lip gloss? Time press lip balm, botanical rescue lip balm. So I guess that's if you have chapped lips or whatever. But anyway, I love lip balms. Everybody does. Our lips wouldn't stay smooth and silky with nothing. They would be crusty, hard, flaky, and probably a little bloody looking, possibly. It happens. You know it does. Everybody has this problem in life. If anybody doesn't, that's impossible. Absolutely impossible. Everybody does if they don't use some kind of lip product. So anyway, I'm going to put all my little treasures back into its Dream It bag. This was a really good bag. I'm really impressed with this bag for um, my little brush, except for this. Well, no. Do you want... I'm, not going to say I'm not impressed with this. I'm just going to say I really didn't need one, but I will definitely use one. I've been actually just using two of my brushes that I got in my Ipsy um, Glam Bag Plus. And I forget the name of them, but they were that nice set with the thick rubber handles on them. And those ones work amazing. So that's why I keep gravitating to those whenever I do my eyeshadow. But on that note, also, I am going to actually probably today cancel my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus because my friend is just really not able to get it to me. Like when I get my bags, what am, what was it again? I think I got possibly November, December, January. I think I got October when he finally brought them to me last time. So I'm going to be doing like back to bag, back unbaggings or whatever of that one. And I like the thought of being able to get something I'm not supposed to be able to get. But at the same time, if I can't get the videos out on time, it's kind of pointless. But when I do get this stuff, I'm definitely going to still do the videos. Just FYI, I am not going to just not do the videos. I still want to see what I've got, give my reviews. I don't remember what I'm getting, so it's going to be a surprise for you and me. But that's fine. I'm happy to get more products. But I'm going to use that money somewhere else to something that can actually directly ship to me without me having to wait on somebody. Anyway, I'm going to sit back, relax a little bit, do some editing now, sip on my tea. And yeah, I hope you're all having an amazing, wonderful, fantastic evening, morning, afternoon, weekend, wherever you're at in the world when you watch my video. And um, I'll leave a, a code below so you, if you want to, so you can. <laughs> if you want to subscribe to Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and I haven't really been too disappointed in any, in any bag, maybe one was kind of like, uh, this sucks, but most of them have been pretty great for the price you're paying. And it's, what is it, $12 US, $14, including shipping, Canadian, US dollar for Canadians. <laughs> and then it ends up being $18 or $19, depending on the exchange. But it's still like, it's a fun bag and it's got some products you wouldn't otherwise even know existed sometimes. And who doesn't like getting little surprise bags in the mail? I definitely do. So yes, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.